terms of character and flavour, it's really like an old sports car. It's a, it's a delightful aeroplane. It's a typical 1950s British design. It's uh, impeccably managed, very well behaved, and it's an absolute delight to fly. Uh, it's got a lot more character to it than most aeroplanes which we find around. And I think that's the pleasure that I get out of flying. It's just a thoroughly nice, nice, gentlemanly, civilised aeroplane. If anyone's looking for one of these aeroplanes, there's not that many two-seaters left in particular. There's quite a few hunters around. The Royal Air Force has just been disposing of a, a number of them. Um, the two-seater, naturally enough, is more popular than the single-seater because owners who aren't pilots then get the chance to fly in it. Um, in the UK at the moment, there's probably about 10 to 12 uh, hunters, two-seaters, uh, available. Um, not all of them are flying, but most of them, I think, are, are being recovered to flying. In terms of getting spares for the aeroplane, uh, there are a lot around. We, we built in Britain uh, nearly two, over 2,000 hunters, so uh, there's a lot of spares around the world. Uh, tracking them down can be a bit of a trick, and uh, some of them are getting rare, some of them are fairly common. And that's one of the problems of just trying to run an aeroplane like this, is actually making sure that you can keep the spares.